2017 Ford F350 with the 67. This truck, we're going to do a software update for the PCM. So what we got hooked up here is we got a battery power supply, maintain a voltage so we don't break a computer, hooked up. We got key on engine off. We got the diagnostic link connector hooked up, our JVCMI 2534 passive device connected to our computer. So I'm going to go to FJDS. We got a $50 pass for two days. I'm going to go to FJDS. Once that loads up. Still loading. All right. So there was a previous previous session we found. I'm going to hit yes. So I don't have to start over and read it. So FMP supported, which means Ford module programming. I'm going to go over here. I'm going to go to... You can go to module programming. Get the little tick mark down here. I can change programmable parameters if I wanted to. I can change, look at as-built data. I can do PMI. I can do module reprogramming, PCM. Get the tick mark. Ignition on, yes. Now it's gonna communicate. The tool is gathering data through our J2534 passive device. And here the truck trying to talk. So the VIN goes through a verification. Yes, that's the VIN. It's gathering data. We want to have the battery maintainer on. Obviously, why we do this so we don't brick the computer. So it's continuing to gather data. We'll see if there's any software updates. I believe there is for this truck. For the PCM. Again, sorry about the glare. All right, so current software version, this is my FJDS. I haven't updated the service tool in 101 days. I don't care about that, but it says there's a later calibration available for the PCM. So the TCM is part of the PCM on this one. Current level is this, and it goes to this. Instead of KB, it goes to KD. Particulate matter sensor. If I click right there, see it right there. That's it. got an update. PCM update, TCM update. What else we got in here? Nitrous oxide module and the glow plug control module. It's got all these updates. So we're going to hit yes to update this software. Let's load in necessary files. So we're continuing to load files, locating them. It says located necessary files, then checking files for integrity, please wait. Switch ignition to off. Right, go ahead, set it to off. Okay, I'm gonna hit next, set the ignition to on. Okay, I'm gonna hit next. Set it to off. Set it to on. Set it to off. Set it to on. It's on, right? Yeah, it's going through programs right now. 
Okay, downloaded data, mod, PCM module reprogram, and please wait. Erase procedure in progress, please wait. Still continuing. Come on. Now, sorry, I just had the pause. It's taking a while. Now it says PCM module reprogramming. So it's reprogramming right now. So it erased the files. Now it's putting um, the new files back on. So we'll let it continue to do this. I'll just pause the camera on and off while it goes through this. We can fast forward. It's continuing to program, refresh the module. Again, we got our battery power supply hooked up. Doing all the programming. And we're about three quarters done now, it says, for PCM module reprogramming. All right, almost done here with this part. So again, I'm using FJDS, $50 for a two day pass. It's all blue now. It says turn the ignition off. Hit the check mark. It's off, right? It says the module has accepted all data sent to it by the service tool. Next, the service tool will attempt to launch the, this new software on the module and check any DTCs. Start or crank the engine for five seconds if it start engine or crank for five seconds if it does not start do not depress the throttle pedal hang on one sec oh hang on start at once Okay, hang on. Turn it off. Now turn the key on engine off. Off? But turn the key back on all the way. Okay. Says so the PCM has accepted all the data if the service too hard the vehicle didn't start. Well, it's because we didn't start it at the previous screen. Possible causes for no start or pats. Communication. PCM not accept the flash. After completing the program, be sure to address potential causes. Do you wish to attempt to reprogram now? No. Turn ignition off. I guess we should have started it when it said to. Set it to off, yep. Set it to on. Now it's a, getting information from the module. Set it to off. On. Now it's reprogramming the GPCM. Yeah. Oh, I forgot. We just did the PCM. Yeah. And then when we're all done, we can actually look at uh, to make sure the data's on there. It wasn't a starting issue. We just should have started it when it told us to. You know. That's what it said. Yeah. But it's all good because it didn't. It didn't. It doesn't hurt nothing. It just says it didn't recognize it running. You know. That's all that is. So when we're done, we'll look at the software, make sure it's the newest software, and then we'll be good. So now it's in the glow plug module. Yeah. The module has sent all, has accepted all data. 
Next, the service tool would launch a new software. Okay. Let's see what it says next. Turn ignition off. Allowing module to power down, 30 seconds. And then we're all done. We'll look for U codes, make sure there's none, and then we'll all be good after these other modules get programmed. Imagine I hit the blue tick mark here because it counted 30 seconds. Please wait while the tool obtains data from the module. Well, if we we're just doing the PCM, would be done by now, but we're doing all these other ones. Right. Must be like subsystems in the module. Come on. All right, turn ignition off. Okay, I'll hit check. Allowing mower to power down. Allowing module to power down. You said it's off, right? right here there's no tick mark yet but when it gets to 30 seconds I don't think I wait here I think I would hit so hit the tick mark turn it to on see this is what it's doing before turn it to off on The race procedure in progress. Module reprogramming, please wait. Well, now we're doing the Knox module. Yeah. Oh, you're good. Module has accepted all data. Nest, okay, same thing. Turn ignition off. Allowing the module to power down. Guess there's a lot of software updates, that's why it's walking through each one. I know on the other, when I've done PCM ones, it always tells you to start it afterwards, but sometimes I avoid that like this I should have started but it don't matter because it's still there's no errors or nothing the program took it just wants to recognize it running and it did yep. and we'll make sure they got the new software and we're all done so I'll hit next please wait while the search tool obtains data from the module turn it to off on. That was quick, quick erase. That was real quick. Erase procedure in progress, please wait. Or that preview screen was real quick. P. 
PMS module reprogramming. Can't remember what sensor that was. What is it? PMS. I remember reading that one, but I can't remember what that module was. Particulate matter sensor. That's what it was. Particulate matter sensor reprogramming. Uh, mass. Is it, is it particular matter? No, matter. Matter, yeah. only done a couple fours and it was only like one update not like five or six but it's a newer vehicle so the module has accepted all data same thing Turn ignition off. off. Logi allowing module to power down. My gosh. I wonder if you go off the uh, module goes into program mode. And if you go on, it goes into home. You know what I mean? Yeah. Because I think it would like a PLC. In order to download a program, it has to be in program mode. Which yeah. All right, so I'm gonna hit the tick mark. Please wait while the service to obtains the data from the module. Set it to off. On. Now it's doing another module, I guess. <laughs> this is crazy. I can't remember which. Got to be PCM yeah. module reprogramming. I'm gonna pause it while he does that. All right, so we're almost there. TCM module reprogramming. Turn ignition off. Allowing module to power down. A lot of key on and off for these Fords. That's what I kind of wonder, like what it actually does. Yeah. Is it, it's just the CPU, right? Yeah. It's just the one for the vehicle. Yeah, each module has one, but we're doing the main PCM. You know, there's a body control module, there's those modules, but we're doing the main. Right, but each module. Got yeah, oh yeah, absolutely. And next, module has accepted all data. So good, so hit next. Turn ignition off. Power down. It's like a, it's, it's kind of being like repetitive now, like we're. It's just the same process, just for each Yeah. I guess it tells you, make turn it off, we'll make sure it's off, you know what I mean? Because it wants, the next step is like it's powering down. It ain't gonna power down if you have the key on because then it'll be more power going to it. So I don't think there's any more updates though. I mean, I don't remember anymore. That are... So I hit the tick mark, set it to on. What's it doing now from the module? If required, obtain a reprogramming label and complete with the following information. A reprogramming label is not required on vehicles served in North America. So there's all your new stuff. PCM, gateway, PCM. So let's get next. Boom. All right, so I went to module reprogramming again. It says no later calibration is available on the system for this PCM, which is not gonna be because we just updated everything. Now, since we're in here, since we're in here, we'll uh, look at the BCM. There's no later calibration for the BCM. So that's good. But, might as well look for the audio control module and see if there's any updates for that. So, the ignition on it is. 
All right, so there's a audio control module down there. <clears throat> there's an update current vehicle is this. We can go to this. We're going to update it. Might as well get our $50 worth for two days. This module you are about to program has multiple internal memory locations. During programming, you may see multiple bar graphs indicating the programming sequence of each memory location. Please do not disconnect any cables or turn the ignition off unless instructed to do. Turn it to off. Turn it to on. So it's going to reprogram. All right, so it's still programming it, reprogramming the audio control module. I think this is the update we were trying to do. With the, that you were talking about? Yeah. Yeah. Have to do that. How do you know it needs an update? Just from your screen? Well, the last update was back in 17, so I guarantee that. Oh. Calibration has been loaded and checked. Yeah, you calls may have set. Okay, we'll look at that. Turn it to off. Uh, off. Turn it. If required, obtain a reprogramming label. It's not required in North America. Boom, your new one's done. So the ACM's good. Now let's. What is this one? Cruise control module. Want to check? Yeah. On. On. Check all these modules, hell. Yeah. Says the diagnostic tool is enabled to obtain valid part numbers from the vehicle. Would you like to try again using the part numbers from as built database for this vehicle if available? Yes. If it, it is necessary to obtain backup data from the as-built database before this module can be programmed, the service tool can automatically obtain the d necessary data if it is connected to the Internet, which way? To avoid manually updating the as-built data, be sure the tool is connected to the Internet. Is it connected? So, connected. The required file was not found on Diagnostic. You wish to look on the network. Says diagnostic. Says required as built data was not obtained, cannot proceed. Confirm. Before I continue, the service tool must obtain part numbers that are recognized as being valid for the vehicle. To continue, check the following and resolve the cause of part number mismatch. Update the service tool software, which we have. The latest module, if the module is recently installed. Yeah. All right, so we're not going to do the the cruise the cruise control module. We'll look at that another time if we need to. C control module. We'll just take a look. Is the ignition on? Yep. We'll check this one out. All right, so this is the same thing. It cannot get valid partners from the vehicle. Would you like to use as-built data? We can, but we're not going to do it. So I'm just going to hit no. Um. I mean, I might have to update this program here, but I'm not concerned about that right now. We're going to check this other C control module. But if we wanted to, there is a website. We got as built data. We could type all that in, but it's I doubt there's updates and it's not crucial. So I'm just going to walk through this and see. This is the same thing for this one. So we're going to hit no. And then the only thing left we have is trailer module, which I doubt there's an update for this. This came out in 17. This is All right, so I guess there is a later calibration for the trailer module. So we're going to go ahead and update it. So we hit yes. This is the last module that needs to be updated. Internal memory locations, yeah, we know. Set it to off. off. On. On. Uh, 
Erase procedure in progress. Module reprogramming. This is the last module. I was gonna say I don't think there's actual updates for the seat module in the cruise control. I highly doubt that. I mean there's we can look on the Ford Motorcraft website, free resources and stuff, but we can see what modules are in there and compare it to that online. There's a way to do that, but I ain't we ain't worried about it. The service tool is unable to obtain configuration data from the original module. As built data will be used to configure the module. Okay. You have two options. We're going to do automatic or manual. So automatic will connect to the internet, retrieve the as built data from the database. If it's manual, we got to get in there what I was just talking about from Motorcraft. So we're going to do automatic. Uh, as built data was successfully retrieved. Configuring, that's good. The other one wasn't for those other modules, but it doesn't need updates. And if it did, we could just, the module configuration has failed. Would you like to retry? Yes. Uh, failed again. So it says it's failed. We tried a few times. We'll hit no. Well, it says... The module has accepted all data sent to it by the service tool. However, the module is not reporting the expected information back to the service tool. Please manu manually verify the module is properly programmed. Switch it to off. If obtained, re so I reprogram, there's the label. There's the new software. Okay, turn the key back on, engine off. Now what we're gonna do is go to self-test. We're just going to check for codes. Scan all modules for codes. All right, so after you're done programming, there's some codes in here we want to go through. The TCM has a lot of U calls and it tells you it's going to. Oh, there's a lot of U calls from programming. So we're going to clear these and rerun. Diagnostics. All right, so everything passed. The only thing we have is the trailer brake module has initial configuration not complete. So we're going to have to try to reprogram that one and see what we need to do. These are optional equipments. He doesn't have those on his truck. Sorry about this bag layer, but we're going to manual as built data now. I went to this website. I type in the VIN. It pulls up the tear tag, everything. And here's all your files. So this one here, and put C000 and 005 alpha into this here. There it is. Put it all in. Hit next. Then it's going to ask for 7920201. So 009 Bravo. Right? So 7910201, 7910201009 Bravo. So hit next. Sorry about my camera work here. Son of a gun. 7910401. Let me just type these in while I pause my camera. All right, so we're having issues with this last one here. 7910401. 791. I don't see no 0401. So maybe that's why I can never do a module reprogram. So we're going to have to take a look and go from there. All right, so we had to look online. We found another document online for these last one. That's three more that weren't in this list. Not sure why, but to ensure the following action has been taken. Ignition on, configuring. If it doesn't configure right, then we know those last three are wrong. We're going to have to get a hold of Ford or somebody. I don't know why it's not on its website. We'll take a look. It says it's failed. It failed? Yeah. All right, so it failed, but... There's supposed to be three more calibrations. 
supposed to be the same thing, but it's 791 0401, 791 0501, and 791 0601. It's not in this Ford as built data. Not sure why. That's why it says it's failing for the trailer brake or the trailer module initial calibration not configured correctly. So we got to find out. That's some guys I'm talking to trying to help us find that calibration off those last three. The ones we put in, we found online they weren't working. So everything else is in here except those last three. So either we have to find it from another website like the scan tool, scan tool told us to log into or Oasis or something to get as built data or talk to Ford so we can get those last three and then we can uh, reconfigure this um, trailer module. So everything programmed fine though. PCM, the TCM inside the PCM, all those modules, audio control module, everything did fine except some of the manual as built data we're having issues with for this trailer module. But everything else is good except the trailer module. The program fine, it's just as built data. We gotta find that. I don't know if I'll add it to this video, if it'll be in another video or if I'll even show it, but that's how you would find it. You would plug it or you would put all this as built data. Looks like hexadecimal codes to me. Like the address and then these hexadecimal codes. I think that's what that is. I'm not sure exactly, but um, we didn't need to do the trailer module, but since we're in there for uh, Ford FJDS, we figured we'd do it anyways. We we're also trying to turn on the OCR operator commanded regeneration on this truck under programmable parameters and um, under Ford FJDS, but there was no option. I mean, there was an option, but not exactly for the instrument cluster to display. There's other options, but it wouldn't let us with the hotel, wouldn't let us with FJDS. I believe it's because of there's different clusters. There's type one, type two, and type three. He's got a type three. I don't know if believe that's why I can't turn it on in this one. I've done other Fords. Some you can, some you can't. Just depends on the instrument cluster. Um, I would think he would because this is a pretty fancy instrument cluster, but who knows? It just depends on what it came with. So we did everything we could through FJDS, but we just got to find those last three uh, configurations called as built data, and that'll uh, finish this truck for uh, the 2017 Ford F350 with the 67 diesel. All right, so I used Forescan to get the as-built data. I signed up for an account with that. Seems pretty cool. You can do some stuff like you can in here, but you can't do actual programming. We can get as-built data and stuff. So I'm going to go to manual for the trailer module. So the first one is C000005 alpha. Second one is 009 Bravo. Third one is 0401. 0401. Yeah, I would just do that. What the heck? Let me try, I'm gonna have to redo. Did I skip one? Let me try this one, 0401, 009 Delta. 501 009 echo. They don't do it, do it over. And 6 01 alpha 0. See what it says. I don't remember. Module configuration complete. It worked out perfect. Yeah. So that's awesome. All right, so after we did the uh, FJDS, it said it completed the module for the uh, actual trailer module for as the ASBUILD data, but it still had a U code for ASBUILD data initial configuration. So what I had to do then is I went to Forescan, and then I'm gonna connect to the vehicle to my VCMI. I'm gonna let it download all the data real quick. I'll pause it while it does that. All right, so it's done. I don't wanna save the vehicle. I could if I wanted to, but this program, it can check DTCs. You can read live data. 
You can do tests. Now this is all for Ford, Mazda, Lincoln, and all that. Do service functions, and you can do configuration and so forth. But uh, what I had to do is go to here, and I went to uh, da, 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 trailer module. Right here, as built format, I hit run. Yes, it's you can change it. You got to be careful. So right here, these lines, this line right here, this address line was not in the Ford as built data factory FJS, FJDS uh, program. So we wrote all these into it, and now we have the right configuration data. So that's what we had to do. So that worked. But since I was in here, I also stopped that. I went into the instrument cluster configuration, not as built, and I went to DIES. I turned on the low percentage for his in the manual region, I enabled it, and then I wrote it with that so I could put it into uh, the instrument cluster. Because I tried with the Optel. It wouldn't let me do it. I tried with FJDS for it and it wouldn't let me do it. So I had to use, to write this into the instrument cluster, just a little side note there. So everything was good at this Ford now. There is a particulate matter filter sensor code. We believe it's a P2452. We gotta find that filter, or not the filter, that sensor. Check wire integrity, which I'm sure it's fine, and just replace the sensor. And that'll be it for this 2017 Ford F350 67 diesel. We did a bunch of service updates, module programming updates, as built data, some configuration of the instrument cluster. So that is it for this vehicle.